In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import images into SketchUp and then save them as a new custom material library. There are several ways of doing this because there are several ways of getting images into a model. But this is the method that I think works best, importing and sizing in one easy operation. Materials fall into two broad categories, those where size only needs to look correct and those where size is really quite specific. It doesn't matter much if the ripples on a pool or the blades of grass on a lawn are 25% smaller than normal. It does matter if house bricks or bathroom tiles are. Now you would normally import a collection of similar textures, sort of roofing, bricks, ground cover or fabric, but for the purposes of this demo I'm going to import a mixed bag of stuff to demonstrate the different techniques. Now I'm going to start by bringing in this little guy because um, I'm going to use him as a frame of reference to size stuff that I'm going to just eyeball the size of. I need something to judge it against. So we go to the in model tab and we can see the black. Now I'm going to delete that so that it doesn't inadvertently get mixed in later on with the uh, the rest of the library that I'm going to create. And then we can actually start to import the images. I will import this brick first. You'll notice that I'm importing it as an image, not as a texture. Uh, I'm doing that because it allows you to, for a period of time, adjust uh, intuitively the sizes of things so you can you can change your mind and adjust them until you actually commit it to being a texture you can you can adjust it quite easily so I'm bringing this in and it's 10 courses high and I've just been outside and measured up the side of my house and 10 courses equals 37 inches in this part of the world so that's that in next one some carbonized siding. Let's make this six inch siding. There are eight planks there. That's four feet, 48. Next one. Just a checkerboard. Well, let's have that as some kind of really retro kitchen tiles. One foot tiles. There's eight of those, so that's 96. Next one is grass, so this doesn't really need a specific size. This is one that we can just eyeball to the correct kind of size, which would probably be about that. Leave a bit of room because I notice that the next one is swimming pool texture, so this really is going to have to be quite big. That thing looks like it's representing pretty much an entire pool, so we'll bring it in about that size. And then the last one is at the other extreme. It's just some wicker work, which judging by the size of the, the man needs to be, um, inferencing, uh, needs to be about that big. Actually looking at it, that's probably still too big. SketchUp was trying to make it even bigger. It's probably more like that size. Okay, now because these are imported as images, not as textures, they haven't appeared yet in the in model tab. They'll only do that once you have actually exploded them. So you've still got a chance to maybe change the wicker a bit more or, or any of the others, but we'll assume that they're all the correct size and we will select them all and we will explode them. And they immediately appear now as textures in the in model tab. Uh, you'll notice they've also come in in the order in which, not in which I've laid them out on the in the model, the order in which they were imported. And also if I click on the brick, it says brick, they're also using the original image name. So both of those things together it would make make sense to actually arrange the images in the folder before you import them and give them kind of logical names and then they will import logically if you're working from top to bottom and they will stay in logical order once you create the library because they, this order is fixed once you create the library. 
Right, and now is also the time to make any other adjustments. Um, pool water would not be completely opaque, so we can select that one and edit it and take the transparency down to about 75%, which will be enough just to show the, the bottom of the pool. Right, so we've got all these. They're all in the model, but they're not as yet saved as a proper library for use in future projects. So we'll go to this side arrow here and we will save the collection as. Windows will try and save it in my documents unless you've changed your preferences. I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop called Samples, which I will select and OK that. Now, rather than like loading some Ruby scripts, you have to completely restart window, uh, SketchUp in order to bring in the new library. So we've got samples here. That has to be moved to the appropriate place for SketchUp to find it, which is in the Materials folder in the SketchUp Program folder. So I'll drop it into there, and then we will restart SketchUp which might take a bit longer because of the recording software. There we go. And we should find that Samples is now there with those files in ready for use in other projects. I bring in this little one here, one I prepared earlier. We can show that these things are sized correctly. Um, put this on a rather nasty, uncomfortable looking wicker chair. Have a weird base to the swimming pool, one foot tiles. Put in a surface for the, the water which has that 75% opacity now. The bricks are the right size. The siding is the right size. So that's it. That's how it's done. If you want to, instead of creating a completely new library, add something that you've got um, to an existing library, what you'll have to do is bring down the secondary pane and open whichever library it is, like ground cover for instance there, um, and drag that file to it. And it will just add itself. You don't need to restart it or anything. It, it's just there permanently in that library from now on. And that's the lot.